Here's the beast we just took out of the kitchen. It is huge. And the morons, when they put it in, just had a blank space behind there. No room, no opening for the vents. All the hot air just came down the side, made it hotter than hell when we tried to use the convection. There's nothing back here. We're going to try to put a smaller unit in this hole and maybe some shelves. When the geniuses originally installed this thing, they used these screws. They were Phillips, but in installation, they rounded them off until you could no longer get them out with a Phillips. We got it out with a number three square head. Boy, that was, that was just really bad. Here's the panel that it was supposed to vent through. Would have been a nice to have a hole in the plywood that the air could go through to get to the vent. Here's the second vent. They vented it into another cabinet. No problem, really, because the air still couldn't get through to it. Here's the space we have to work with. Probably a small microwave pushed a little further back than the other one was. That we were constantly cracking our heads into it. Some shelving or a small cabinet, whatever we decide to put over there, most of those wires will go. There's only one or two that are really needed. Here's what we have so far. We have to cut that rubber mat there under the microwave down so it fits in the shelving. And we have to put some wood trim up there to match the other trim around the cabinets. Habitat for Humanity came and picked that big monster up. I think we're going to like this. Here's that spot where the old microwave was. We have a much smaller one. Space over there for glasses. Works out nice. This door, solid mahogany, waxed finish, little knob on here. A couple of magnetic catches. The dishes go up here, which frees up another cabinet. And what we do with our oven cooking now is one of these. New Wave Oven. We've done pork roast in here. We've done chicken. It works really, really well. We've done casseroles. On top here, since we really no longer even use the stove, I've got a piece of plastic cut in order to uh, keep crumbs in that out of the out of the Corian covers. And this is our new deal. We also figured out what we're going to do with the broom. We had this really weird slot in between the shower and the wall here. The broom just fits. I was wondering what to do with it and that's what I'm going to do. We did have the broom hanging from this handle on the pantry door. However, the dog can reach it and he started to eat the bristles. So it's gone from there and he can't reach it now.